Hello and welcome to Skin News. I'm Dr. Joshua Fox, board of certified dermatologist and Mohs surgeon at the Miami Center for Dermatology. And today we are fired up to talk to you about a paper that came out regarding androgenetic alopecia, also known as male or female pattern hormonal hair loss. In this trial that was published in the Journal of the European Academy of Dermatology and Areology in October of 2021, they compared finasteride pills to, the, to a spray to a placebo in treating androgenetic alopecia, also known as AGA. And real quickly, it's thought that hormonal hair loss that is very common in both men and women is driven by a, t a hormone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone. And finasteride, the brand name is Propecia, works by blocking the conversion of DH of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. So if you can lower the levels of DHT, it's thought that that is the mechanism by which finasteride or Propecia increases your hair growth or prevents the hair loss in, these in this diagnosis, in this condition. So it's known that the pill works, but there is not so much data regarding the topical application of it, in this case, a spray. So they looked at about 450 patients and they gave some of them spray of finasteride, some of them the pill of finasteride, and then some of them of the placebo. And they evaluated the patients at 24 weeks and they found that 24 weeks, the patients taking the spray of finasteride as well as the pill of finasteride both had relatively similar increases in hair growth, whereas those patients taking the placebo did not have increase in hair growth compared to the two medicated branches of the trial. Now, what's interesting is that the patients taking the pill form had higher levels, or rather I should say they had reduced levels of DHT systemically in their blood, and about 2% of the patients taking the pill finasteride had to stop it due to side effects, mainly sexual side effects. Whereas those with the spray form had no, none of these side effects and 0% of them um, left the trial due to those side effects. So what this trial demonstrates is that the spray was just as effective as the pill form for finasteride in improving hair growth um, and had none of the side effects that the pill form um, patients had which makes sense because you would expect to have more absorption into the bloodstream when you're taking a pill compared to a spray for the most part. And that's what this trial showed. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. Remember, dermatology is more than skin deep. Take care and we'll see you back again at Skin News. Bye-bye.